is the last unit of the grade five <coughs> math and it is called transformations. And so basically what we're going to be looking at is uh, the way that shapes move. And so the first way that shapes can move is called a translation. And so what a translation basically is, is just moving from one spot to another and not turning or rotating or anything. Okay, so it says, uh, when a shape moves along a straight line without turning, it is translated from one position to another. The movement is called a translation or a slide. So if it slides and stays the exact same, just moves positions, it's called a translation or the shape has been translated. When we draw the shape in its new position, we draw a translation image of the shape. Uh, and that shouldn't have a D there. A D should be removed. Okay, and the last part is uh, the translation is described by the number of squares moved right or left um, and up or down. So uh, not only are we moving shapes, but we're also um, saying which direction they have been moved. Okay, we always do this on graph paper, on square paper like this. Um, and we've got a reminder here and it says, we say how many squares left or right before how many up or down. So we're gonna say um, how many squares it moved across and then how many it, it moved up or down, okay? So it's important that you follow the proper formatting. Here's an example. So we've got this shape here and it says shape. When it says shape, that means that's the original. When it says image, that means that that's the copy. So we're, here's our shape. It doesn't really matter what the shape is at this, at this time. Um, but here is the shape again. So we pick a point on the shape. We're going to pick the most uh, top right hand, no, left hand corner. No, it's the right hand corner, sorry. <laughs> uh, so the mo top most right hand corner. And then we're gonna count how many, how many uh, squares over and how many squares down it took for the same corner to reach this point right here. Okay, so we can draw a dotted line to see and then we can go, we don't have to draw the dotted line, that's just to show you, but you can do it if it helps you. And so you go, okay, one, two, three, four, five, five squares to the right, and then uh, one, two, three, four squares down. Now, the only spot that's gonna trick you here is if you switch corners. So since we use this corner in this shape, we have to use this corner again in the same shape, or in the other shape. Okay, we can say this corner and this bottom corner because that would be um, a different corner and then that would change our, our things significantly, okay? Now, when you draw a translation, you use a translation arrow to show how it has moved. So we draw it from this corner to the other corner, that's the same, and then we put the arrow part right here to show that it moved this way, okay? Um, here are some other reminders. So to remind you about the translation arrow, it says that that shows how the shape moved. The arrow joins matching points on the same shape and its image. So those are called matching points that I said you have to use. Ah. Oh no! Things are happening. Okay, here's some more reminders. Um, it says if the shape is difficult to translate, so if it's like an awkward shape, then you might want to trace the shape onto a thinner piece of paper. I'm not sure if we have uh, tracing paper, but uh, just trace it onto another piece of paper and then translate that tracing. So then trace it onto a paper and then put that tracing underneath your original paper and then trace it again. Okay, so you, we can use tracing to help us draw those. And then um, another thing that you need to know is that a shape and its translation image have the same orientation. Okay, so and that means that they face the same direction. So if I stand here and then I stand over here, I'm having the same orientation. But if I went like this and then I went like this, I have a different orientation now. Okay, or if I went on my side, that's a different orientation. All right. Next up, we're going to practice. So what you need to do is you need to translate this shape six squares left and two squares down. So please pause the video now and try that out and then play again once you're finished to see if uh, you got the right answer. 
Okay, so hopefully you finished this now. Um, and you're going to need to know the difference between your lefts and, and rights for this. Um, so what you need to do is six squares to the left. So I'm going to pick this point right here. It honestly doesn't matter which point you pick. You just have to pick one. Okay, so you're going to go here. Whoops. Okay, it's not that oriented, I guess. Um, so six squares to the left. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And then two squares down, one, two. So I'm going to start this. All right. Uh-oh. There we go. Kind of works. And I'm going to draw that again right there. And I'm going to switch colors just so it doesn't get confusing for you. Okay, so then I draw it carefully. So this is the top, and I go two over. <laughs> it's not going to look great on this sort of working smart board. Okay, and then I go one over on each side, and then three down. So this, this kind of shape you don't really need to trace because you can just follow the squares and count, count them up. All right. Hopefully yours looks better than that because your paper works better than my smart board. Uh, but also, don't forget to draw this um, translation arrow because that's important to show. Okay? So that's that one. Now, the second practice. Oh, that did not work. Hang on. It's not working. Okay, so the second one, you have to write the transla translation that moved the shape to its meaning. So you have to say how many squares left or right and how many squares up or down. So pause the video now and try that out and then play again once you're finished. Okay, so hopefully you're finished. Um, so all you do is you go from the, the vertex, remember that geometry unit, uh, the vertex that we have here. And then uh, we need to see left or right first, so we're going to count. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh-oh, smart board's not working anymore. This is confusing. Okay. Well, we'll just use this piece here. So 12 squares. And that is to the left. So uh, 12 squares left and, okay, so we had here, we had, so 12, right here we ended. Um, and then one, two, three, four. So add four squares up. Now, you might have gotten tricked if you didn't notice that the, this is the translated image and this is the original. Okay? Um, again, I'm not sure if you can see that, but I'll pull that back over there just in case you missed it. Um, and here it is. So you have 12 squares left and 4 squares up. That's all you need to say. It's pretty, pretty basic of uh, what you need to do. But yeah, so that is uh, oh, oops. that is the concept of translations. It's the most simplest one.